Hi, this is Instructional Development at UC Santa Barbara. Creating a predictable weekly pattern for your course makes your expectations for students more transparent and sets them up for success. There are four elements of a weekly pattern. Study schedule, frequent feedback, communication, and participation. Let's use an example course to explain how these elements help create a weekly pattern. Here's a course that has lectures on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of every week. This is the beginning of the study schedule. To fill in the rest of the schedule, let's take a look at the course assessments. There are three big exams, weekly quizzes, and a bunch of online practice exercises. Let's build those in through online homework due on Tuesday and Thursday, and short quizzes or exams on Friday. Once we add in the estimated time students should spend on each of these activities, we've completed the study schedule. Now let's add the second and third elements, giving students frequent feedback and clear communication paths. Frequent feedback should be built into class activities and homework. For example, in this class, we can use the online homework analytics to check for common mistakes and then address those before Friday's quizzes. We will also integrate frequent feedback into our communication path, which will be a back channel chat. Students can ask and answer questions in the chat anytime during and outside of class. We will also use the back channel for announcements and to message individual students. The last element in creating a weekly pattern is preparing students to participate. This is where we actually tell students how we expect them to behave during class. To make our implicit expectations apparent, we think about how we want students to pay attention and interact with other people during class. In our example, this looks like taking notes and short paired activities. And that's the last element. Now this weekly pattern is ready to share with the students. Now let's look at a slightly more complex example. This schedule shows a class with about four hours of independent online coursework on Mondays and Tuesdays instead of class and another few hours of online reading questions on Thursdays. The online homework is graded based on completion, not accuracy, and is used during class on Wednesday and Friday for active learning. That way students get frequent feedback on their learning without a big grading burden on the instructor. Students also have a discussion section during the week. Here they get more feedback as they communicate in a smaller setting and prepare for group projects and exams. To make the communication path more robust, the instructor will send an email every Monday with study tips, office hours, and announcements. Now it's ready! The study schedule and participation are outlined with communication paths and frequent feedback built in. One important point is that predictable weekly patterns don't mean that we have to do the same exact thing every week. We can switch things out to best fit the content and context. As you make adjustments, remember, the key principles behind weekly patterns are to make your expectations more transparent and relatively predictable to students. Your goal is to set them up for success. For more information about organizing your course, contact us at Instructional Development. Thanks for watching.